Oh god. That's better. What'd you do? They said it was dim. Than me. I can't see the TV anymore. I've been looking at the lights much. <laughs> Rick is like. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Crow Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Fate Zero. Nope, Fate Unlimited Blade Works. This is episode 20. Last time on. Stay night. Yeah. What happened? Battle. Fighting. Things are going bad. Things We've never go well for Lance. Fighting and Uh, uh Gilgamesh. Kane, they found out Archer, about Unlimited Blade Works. And, mm -hmm. and the, the, the realm of his... Psyche. Yep. Shiro is currently having a conversation with himself that is jaded <laughs> and um, trying to stop it all, right? Stop before he becomes a guardian and has to clean up man's messes. Yes, and Shiro mm -hmm. is going to have to fight Sh Shiro. Marine Archer. is kidnapped. Yes. <laughs> huh? Uh, yes. Bean is kidnapped. And Lancer went to go save her and then she was killed. Kire. Well, he killed himself. Yeah, Kire ordered, ordered him to uh, to kill himself. He has every command seal ever, um, and he's before, going to be using. But now, no to, servants to use them on. But now, That's before true. he beat the shit out of that one kid. Lancers yeah. never Definitely. get to fight people till they lose. Mm. They never do. Yeah. Somehow, the person with the weapon who has the least chance of impaling themselves upon it mm. impales himself. Impales himself upon it. It is inevitability. The pointy uh, ends all the way over there. Kira Just keep it pointed that way, and you'll never get stuck on it. I believe. Nope. Ki oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I believe Kira is also going to be using Ren as the vessel of the Grail. Correct. Her heart, in particular. Her heart, in particular. Yeah. Yes, I think. So well, I'm just excited. He said for that him he to... had to remove her heart. Does that mean that he has to put? Uh, it's not. Iris, it's Elias. Is he gonna put Elias' heart in her and make some kind of like yeah. homogenous, homogenous grail vessel for the greater grail? Yeah, it's possible. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just looking forward to Kure killing Shinji and taking back Gilgamesh. Yes, Shinji needs to go. Agreed. What a crazy sequence of so like self reflection and. It is the ultimate, like, I have shit to work out with myself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love the line of, like, I'll destroy the part of me that is you. Yeah. Is is great, considering, like, the situation of everything that's in. You know? Like, that's the thing. Like, the Archer version of him wants to get rid of the part he doesn't want. But Shiro can do the same thing. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, and there's no guarantee that, like, that, that Shiro can... That Shiro will turn into Archer, mm -hmm. right? Like, there's, like, especially if, like, this, he's coming back to do this, maybe he doesn't kill him. Maybe he just destroys the part of him that's him and makes yeah. him different to where he achieves something else. Yeah. But, you know, the show is called Fate. So, like, is he fated to do it? Like, has all this written by the Grail and it's inevitable? Or can depends. it be changed? Are there alternate realities? I, I, yeah, I think it depends. I would probably go the alternate reality way. Like, mm. making this decision has changed things. And because thus like, he's not on the same plane. Like, that archer never fought against himself. Shiru. So he, like, lived in a world where, even though he was all throughout time, this is the first time that he's actually had the opportunity to be summoned and fight against himself. Shiru. Yeah. That's what I would assume, and I feel like that's the null hypothesis. Because he said, like, you know, I was waiting for this moment. This is the only way I could think of that could maybe break the chain of events. Yeah. Um, yeah, because if he had tried before and failed, then by his reckoning, fate had decided that, and thus attempting again would have been mm -hmm. pointless. But even he still doesn't seem to realize that Karitsugu caused that city to blow up. Does he? I don't know. Well, he He's... would have the same knowledge as, as the young Shiro. That's and if if Kiritsugu never told him. That's kind of what I thought they were going at there for a minute, was that they were going to go into too. the history of that. And that's kind of what broke Archer, <clears throat> was that this quest that he's been set upon to save people, he learned the secret, which was that Kiritsugu caused the destruction too, and like he didn't want to, but he, you know the hero he looked up to that was trying to save people that he you know aspired to be also caused the destruction that you know, ultimately mm -hmm. did everything. But what Shiro but, says here... Sorry, go ahead and finish. No, but I mean, like, 
none of that is what they went into as far as the case, you know? He saw, yeah. like, a light instead. Yeah, well, I mean, what Shira says here really almost nullifies it. Like, it doesn't matter because mm -hmm. it wasn't Karitsugu that inspired him. It was the dream mm -hmm. that inspired him. So, like, the fact that Karitsugu failed only emboldens him yeah. even more to carry that dream. The fact that he life. himself failed only emboldens him. Yeah. <laughs> because he's doing it to this guy that did fail doing exactly what he's doing. And now he's more emboldened. Is it to like, apply? Well, I know how not to do it. Yeah. Now, another way. Yeah. So, Kiritsugu, to save Shiro originally, did he use Avalon? Avalon to heal him and save him? So, like, at least I saved this one person? I think so, because he's been healing like 20 times over the course of the show. You know? And yeah. I don't think he's actively doing it, but Avalon, we know, heals you. And that's why he was able to get Saber. Because yeah. he had because he had a, a relic. So is yes. it her mentality of like if there is a, a tough decision to be made to save lots of people and someone has to sacrifice themselves, it's going to be me. Like is that mentality what is impressed upon him? I mean, like, they're did, kind of the same. Did Avalon make him that way, or did his realization like? set him on this course. No, I get what you mean. Like, what... Like, is it... Is it affecting him, mm -hmm. or is he being affected by it? You know what I mean? I like to think it's not affecting him that way. It's only giving him the healing ability. Uh, and it was another thing that made him connected to a spirit like Saber, so whenever he goes to summon something, Saber shows up. Yeah. You know, I completely just accepted that Saber would go to a guy like this. You know, as opposed to any other people that wanted Saber, you know? But having Avalon definitely helped. I mean, we also... We know it helped a lot yeah. last... Mm -hmm. When he goes Super Saiyan, like, he's pulling the sword from the stone, Yeah, really. And, mm -hmm. like, in the ancient legends, they talk... Like, sword and the stone and Excalibur are two different swords. Mm -hmm. They talk about the sword and the stone coming out of, like, a fire. Yeah. And you can think of that of, like, you know, maybe it's being pulled from pulled out from a forge mm -hmm. or something like that, in, like, in the actual histories or whatever. Yeah. Um, but, like, yeah, it, it seems that defensively and offensively now, they're sort of one mm -hmm. when it comes to Saber and Shiru. And they, they're not, they don't even, that's why that they still have that connection, too, because they're not, they don't even have a contract right now. Right. It was right? nullified. Yeah. But they have this, like, connection still, both in their ideals and Avalon. Didn't they, they put Avalon inside of, uh... Iris. Last time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But then they took it out. And that's why she was doing much worse, right? Well, she wasn't going to survive forever. They were mm -hmm. using it to help. Yeah, to help right? prolong her her lifespan. But then it, towards the end, they decided that, like, they were getting diminishing returns. So did he find? He found the kid and implanted it. Is that the idea? That's what I assumed, and I thought they said. But I also was there was a hype moment that I, think I, I felt I, like he used trace on to like put it in him. Is kind of what I felt like. Because did... Kuritsugu taught him that magic, right? Yeah. So I feel like he dematerialized it and put it inside of him. Yeah, I want to listen to it real quick. I thought there was a line in there somewhere. About what? About, uh, about uh, Avalon being in him or not. Like, you know, we see this big light, you know, of coming from when he's saving this kid. Is that him implanting it? Is it him doing a trace ability? Yeah, I don't think that they said anything about it, but there is, like, there was a line that they mentioned where it was talking about which one was the miracle kind of thing, mm -hmm. which is, I don't know if that's a matter of, like, uh, like finding this one kid alive in this, you know, destruction of everything, or... Like, I'm not sure what the other miracle side of that would have necessarily been. But maybe the fact was that maybe there wasn't a miracle. And maybe Kiritsugu, like, forced it, right? So, like, maybe he found a kid who was dying. dead slash dying. And he did, you know, if, if the idea is that he's learned his magical stuff from Kiritsugu, could he have done something with the Avalon to implant it in, thus giving him the ability to stay alive through it? And it's just been within him all along. Yeah. I mean... He's had a similar line before where he was like, I don't know who's been, who was saved that day. Because he saw Kuritsugu and he saw him so happy. And like, yeah. we know that like Kuritsugu was 
saved in that moment because at least he was able to save someone. Yeah. Someone. From, like Archer from here is saying like, you know, you aren't able to save anybody. Mm -hmm. So really, Shiro only needs one person. And I think that person's probably going to be Rin and or Saber. Do you think he can save Maybe. himself? I mean, maybe he can save Archer. Maybe if he saves Reem, then he can convince his future self that, you know, it is worth the effort. Know. You can save just one person, like Kiritsugu, then that makes up for it in the, some small The miracle way. there may have been, because of what you're saying there too, Rick, like, like the fact of finding this child, like, who was saved? Was the miracle saving uh, Shiro, or was the miracle saving uh, Kiritsugu? Right? Like, yeah. Like, both of them were... Like, he was lost after that event, right? Wasn't that, like, wasn't that something that was mentioned at the end of Zero? It's like, it's hard to say who was actually saved, the boy or Kuritsugu, just by meeting. I don't know what it was said. That's what Rick was saying, that there was a quote at some point where, like, there was a, a line about who was saved and how they were both, like, you know, he was dying in a place and he was at his, mm -hmm. in the end of his rope. Yeah. So maybe that's what he's referring to as the miracle. But maybe there is no miracle, and maybe Kiritsugu made it happen, right? Yeah. I think the miracle was that Lancer died three times and came back and saved the day. He's just—he's like a villain. He's like a villain of a horror movie where he like killed he's Jure. dead, and then you're over here, and then you either see or you don't see, and you pan back and it's just standing there. Yeah. Ah, you know. I was so shocked that Kirei just died like that. I need a miracle to bring Kirei back. I'm not ready to lose him. I kept expecting them to like die and come back to each other, and they kept stabbing each other, and they kept they keep doing it. You know? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I know that you know this uh, works with routes. I wonder if there's a route where that doesn't happen, and Kirei sure. does other stuff. You know, not that I think I don't think it's bad. I just feel like man, I just really wanted to see what the hell he had planned. <laughs> well, considering <laughs> considering talking about routes and stuff too, like I don't know how many different fate shows there are. Yeah, and there's the manga and the the, the and there's not game, but. What's it called? Visual, visual, novel. Novel. visual novel. You know, like all that kind of stuff. But in this, Lancer had a line where he was like, you know, silly girl, um, I come find me when you're, you're older. older. You know, and it's like, well, I wonder if that's a nod towards something that's happening in the visual novel or, you know, another future another series. route or a future of this scenario of where it goes or anything like that. Because yeah. it just I, felt like maybe some things where it's like, well, the story for Lancer isn't 100% told already. Mm -hmm. And there was more story there that we well, didn't get, but, you know, we can't get it in this. I love it, it too. If you haven't seen Zero, it's spoilers. But like, because we know Lancer's fate in that one, you buy the fate here, and you, you don't. Do, you totally it at buy all. it. Yeah. And then he's like, "Oh, he's up. Oh, okay, all right, now he's dead. Yeah. Ah, he's up again. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. So like, like, it's, again? it's great watching Zero first for a number of reasons, but yeah. that is one of them. Definitely. Because I absolutely 100% believed that he was just dead. And it sucked. Although it was weird seeing him not disappear. Yeah. At the beginning. Here. That was. Yeah. But, you know, Gilgamesh didn't disappear either, and, like, maybe Kurei figured out a spell or something in order to keep things around. Yeah, but Gilgamesh around. never died or something, and he turned something human disgust, or something. They didn't understand and, exactly why. They were just uh, going with it. But, like, what, it was what I said in the very beginning, too, where it's like, man, Lancers never get to... They're always screwed. Yeah. And they get they just have to kill themselves, you know? Yeah. But, and then whenever he was like, you think that little scratch is going to kill me? I'm not much of a hero. And I'm like... Well, I mean, wasn't he commanded to kill himself? So mm -hmm. if he's not dead or whatever, then he didn't do the command. So well, he did the there. command, just not but something that was going to kill him immediately. If you go with yeah. like what Calvin was referencing, it was like death is a process. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, like, <laughs> like I will die from this. You know, he gave himself a mortal wound yeah. that he would eventually die from. So it's he didn't process. kill himself. He just didn't immediately snuff out his. There's a big life. difference between dead and mostly dead. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> something, yeah. Is that what it is? It's something like that. Yeah, right? that's it. If yeah. fucking Shinji's still alive. God damn it. Come on. Just kill him. <laughs> Just got him a little bit. I love how he was like... Ah! <laughs> he ran away. <laughs> Unless it's like poison or something. I don't think it is. I right suppose now. they only... Did, he just God not damn. because maybe... That's, I don't know. Well, he said about not wasting his energy. That's not yeah. the spear that... Uh, but if you kill him, then Gilgamesh doesn't have an unhealable now. wound. So he's not going to die from that. If I'm you kill him, what? If you kill him, then, I mean, doesn't Gilgamesh get his mana from him now? Does he? He does, but he's an now. archer class, so he can function yeah. for up to for however many days. Number Plus, one, three I days. don't know, because at the, the end of the last time, it felt like he, he's your human now, and I don't know what the rules are, and maybe he's not. True, but could he do all of his stuff without a master? Does you know? he have... We didn't uh, see him until he made the contract. And no one does, does he listen to shit that he says? And I don't think... I don't know. 
Yeah. Someone needs to take all those command seals are just laying down there. They're yeah. burning up now. Before Reen leaves, she goes, give them to me. Yeah. But there's some kind of weird thing you gotta say, and you didn't write it in blood, so we don't know. Reen's got one left? Maybe. Yeah, Reen's got one. And Shiro sh- has zero. Yeah. Shinji has... I don't know. Three, I think, still, right? Did he Although it didn't new- work here, because he, he was like, you know, Gilgamesh... Come here and save me. Yeah. I don't know if he has any. I don't think he has any. Yeah, I don't think he has any. I thought he lost him when he lost Ryder, and then he went and got, like, a new one, but I don't think they ever gave him, like, command seals. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right. Kira is probably like, I don't have any to spare. <laughs> that's why he was so shocked whenever he pulled up this entire sleeve yeah. of command seals. Like, ugh. Like, oh. His arm just, like, goes like that one guy from Street Fighter. He really long. Just, <laughs> his, his sleeve keeps going up. Dulcim. Yeah. <laughs> But the elbow's like up here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just keeps showing more and more and more. In the uh, the one part when I, mean, I really liked that, it was like uh, Shiru now speaking to Shiru then, being like, why are you going there? Don't you know that's hell or whatever, right? Yeah. Sure. Uh, and then we get again this older Archer Shiru well, Archer, speaking to this one, you know? But in the first one, there's all these people behind Shiru. Mm-hmm. Like, I wonder who they were. Is it all the people that did die? Uh, in the catastrophe, or like, I wonder what all those I wasn't people sure were. Who they were? Yeah, yeah. I didn't... like what's the metaphor or the uh, what do they signify? I mean, I guess like it everyone that did die. Why live. are you sur- trying to live? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> everyone who did die. Yeah. Why are you trying? Like, are those all the victims, and you're not the victim because you're going ahead over here? You know, I don't know. Are all those the people who died and, and like, um, could it just, why are you going there, boy? Could it just be like, that is, the, like, like what you're saying, like, all the people who died. Yeah. What if those are the people who died mm-hmm. and he's crawling back into the hell? Like, mm-hmm. he's dead, but Kiritsugu brings him back with Avalon. Mm-hmm. Like, could he be crawling back into hell mm-hmm. rather than dying with the rest and going off to where, whatever's nice over there instead of coming back and, don't you know that's hell? Maybe. Like, coming back to Earth, coming back no. to whatever, like. Doesn't seem great over there. Well, I mean, yeah, but there's... It's right there. Over there, though, is not the fire. It's not the death. It's, like, yeah. the, all the people are there, but he's crawling back into it, back into where people die, where... Out of the frying pan. Where, you fire. know, Kiritsugu's been trying to, like, find ways to make peace and not have people die, but it's, it, it's basically been hell for him because he keeps on failing or there's, like, that boat metaphor, you know, like, of I gotta kill people to save other people. So, like, you could have it where, like, those people are... That's the death of what Kiritsugu did, but Shiro is crawling back mm-hmm. in, coming back, because Kiritsugu is going to be bringing him back. Yeah. He's choosing to return, kind of, or something along those lines. That boat metaphor is bullshit. All you need is that one guy from Dark Knight. What? Calvin, no. Give it to me. I'll do it. No, it's gonna, it's not, there's no bombs. I'll tell him my first force. It's forced. sinking, Calvin. Throw it out the window. It's sinking, Calvin. You need that guy. You're, Batman Begins! You're mixing up the metaphors. <laughs> No, it is bad name again. What? It's no, not it's Dark Knight. It's Dark Knight. What? It's Dark Knight. It is Dark Knight. Oh. Why are you making uh, me second guess myself? It's the dude from Friday. Uh, but yeah. It's on the bike? Sure. Yeah. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen that. But yeah. So what was Rin talking about when she was leaving? She was like, I have to win it for him? Like, she has to win it for Shiro or something like that? Yeah, because... because I mean, she, she partnered with him and he was such an unmanageable partner. Yeah. It made her try so much harder to be better because of him dragging her down. Now, yeah. she is like, because of this influence that he had on me, I wouldn't have come this far. Now I have to because he helped me along, even though he didn't know. I kind of got the feeling that she was talking about, like, I can't let him become that, so I can't let him win. Mm-hmm. So I need to win. Yeah. It's kind of the feeling I got from him. I mean, because she said, like, you know, Archer's right, or he, at the very least he's justified in his choices, you know? Yeah, choices. She didn't find any fault in what he's saying. Yeah. She just won't allow him to have the opportunity to make good on any choices, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I wonder what her plan is. Because yeah. right now, it's just Shinji and Gogamesh. Mm-hmm. And she's got nobody, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, Saber's up in the air. Yeah. Hmm. So, like, I wonder what her plan is, and I wonder how it all happens. Although, I'm delighted that Gogamesh is the final boss again. Of course. Why would he not be? Or he just Man, leaves. He's fantastic. I'm sad for Kira, but if I had to pick one, probably Gilgamesh. What if Gilgamesh just leaves? He's like, you know, screw it. I'm what if Shiro sorts himself go? out? I got what I need anyway. I don't Where's need he the going? Holy Grail. The Holy Grail's already mine. What if Shiro sorts himself out? So, um, Archer, I mean, mm-hmm. current Archer, not mm-hmm. last Grail War Archer, disappears or goes back to the ether or whatever. And then 
It's just Saber versus Gilgamesh again. What happened to Assassin? I don't know. <laughs> I thought that was a good ending. I'm sorry. No. What did happen to Assassin? Well, like I, I assume that he faded when Caster died. Caster yeah. blew his chest open or yeah. something. And well, yeah, but kept, she fixed him. And then kept yeah. him there to guard that house. So like, um, he I would maybe assume still around. that once she died, all of her magic and everything collapsed, and thus the bounded field around the the, the temple would have dissipated, and so her breaking the rules and everything that was in place would have Come, you're going too deep you can, just, you can just say and he disappeared you can just say he has no mana to feed on and since he's not archer class he can't last forever but if assassin was an actual servant he would have went to someone else right Me, not necessarily if he had enough mana and could travel to them and could get them to agree to the bond then maybe but i think because he was trapped there and then in my own headcanon, the field dissipated, and thus he couldn't, like, still exist outside of no, just that rule. The caster died, and he has no mana source. Because he would have been feeding off of her, right, for mana? Yeah, but it, it's like so a capacitor, right? Once, like, once they have she, a certain amount, and if they're not being regularly I don't, fed, I don't think, it, like, dissipates. I don't, I don't know if it's like that, because well, like, then, Archer has an Archer-class ability of I don't have one, so I can live longer than anyone else can. So, Assassin may not have that kind of, like, charge kind of thing. I'm trying to think of any well, of the swap I, where, they, like... They, they have a certain amount. Like, Archer has much more. He can go up to three days without receiving mana from a master. But, like, the others for have to, mm -hmm. to a certain amount. So well, Sab Saber's well, lasting for a bit. Uh, Is that a master? She's got a master, right? Who's her master? Isn't it Reen right now? Mm. Did they make a contract? I thought they did. That's how she like broke out whenever she was trapped and stuff, and that was the yeah. trick, wasn't it, Reen? Um, but or was it Ryder did not have a master when he fought Gilgamesh in the last series, <laughs> and he well, died immediately. The, the thing with that though is, did he or did he not? Because we were talking about is he no longer the master because he didn't have command seals, or was that him saying, "I'm letting you go"? Their, but he their was contract still, had finished. But were they still feeding off mana from him in his battle? I suppose it's possible, but Even I don't think that he was. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what the rules are for that, because we've kind of discussed that back and forth a little bit throughout this series. But, but he's the only one I can really think of that. Even, well, even um, still, if that's a case, he didn't last too much longer of going through uh, the battle. Original caster at, lasted after Ryanosuke. But he was getting his money in the book. There was, was a thing. There was a thing from that where, like, if he got too big, he could just it wouldn't matter, and he would be able to just have mana. self sustaining no mana. So he was building off of that too. So it's, mm. that's another weird loophole thing where it's like I don't know what to go with that. Yeah, you I know? still think they mentioned last time because like, they're making up the rules. You're like right. servants Fake. can change masters if their master dies. Yeah, and it's, it's not possible. only restricted to Archer because otherwise they would just say no. Archer can switch masters, right? No, no. I mean they can't switch. That's a thing they've said. But, I mean, if their master dies and they're no longer being fed mana, this they can a exist of for a short time. time, just not as long as Archer, right? I think so. I mean, it's just like everything. They started playing this game without the rule book, and they're just trying to, like, reverse engineer what the rules are, and sometimes they're just incorrect. Yeah, and then it's just fake. The one who knows fake. the most is dead now. Kira. Fake unlimited blade works. It's not fake, it's real. They're all counterfeits. Oh, he's right. Thank you guys for watching our reaction to fate. Stay night and limited blade works. It's been a hell of a ride. If you want to get ahead on it, you can episodes. go to patreon.com slash blindwave and see up to four nice. reactions ahead. Also full link. You need to link up your own footage. We're watching it off the Blu-rays. <laughs>